I've been out again today, bargain hunting. This time of year I'm always looking for a good deal. Because although I will grow lots of things from seed, if you can find some already grown good deals like these, and another one that I want to show you a little bit later, which is an even better deal, then you might as well buy them and you've got a jump start on here. You? you can get your baskets filled, your planters filled, and you ain't got to wait for all these little seedlings to grow into flowers big enough to put into those containers. But as always with supermarket bought plants, you've got to give them a good watering because they just put them outside on trolleys and they forget about them until closing. So, so this is all Brescia that I've bought. The nice plants and this this spread really well. Basically, they're an alpine, so they spread really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of this pot because I guarantee this is root bound. And what we'll do is we'll pop it into a bigger pot and then I'll show you that other bargain. So when we pot it on, we want to put it into something, obviously a bit bigger. Don't want to go too mad with it, but just to give it a bit more room for the roots to start growing again. We'll take it out and have a look. See how bad it is. Now as you can see, it's got quite a lot of roots and they're starting to tangle up and they'll just keep going, tangling and wrapping down around each other until it basically chokes that plant. So I'm just going to pop a bit of compost in here first. I'm not going to fill it. And then what we want to do is take the old pot and use it as a measuring guide for the plant. Like that. Now we can see that we need to fill in around these edges, but we've got the right depth. So we'll just gradually put a bit in, get it pressed down. So I've given that a bit of a tamp down, filled round edges, and then we can take this pot out carefully. And then what you're going to be left with is the exact same size hole that you need to drop this plant straight in. But when I do this I always like to rough the roots up at the bottom as well. Just to untangle them a little. Encourage them to start growing again instead of trying to wrap round and round a pot. And I'll also drop in about a tablespoon of Epsom salts. Because Epsom salt is magnesium sulphate and that will go straight into the root of that plant and it will encourage root growth, it will prevent transplant shock and it will make any yellowing leaves greener. So it's a good thing to do. You can also uh, dilute that in water if you want to and spray it on the plant so it, it'll be absorbed by the leaves as well. So we just take this plant and pop it in like that. And then just go around, straighten it up a little. So we've got that in there, we know it's got some more room to grow its roots now. So we'll just go around and infill a little bit. Just make sure you leave a bit of a gap at the top so that when you water it the water doesn't run off. Then I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of all purpose fertiliser just around edges just so it's got a bit of a feed. So I know a lot of these plants are imported from Holland and they can spend days in transport then come in dried looking tired so you've got to make a little bit of an effort with them when you pot them on. And then we're going to stand it back in some water. 
And because this plant is dry, and we've put the Epsom salts in the bottom, as it soaks up the water, it's going to absorb the magnesium sulphate. So that is going to feed that plant as well as water it. Make sure if you do buy Epsom salts, don't buy perfume ones. It's just basic, all everyday standard Epsom salt. And you can also use that on all your vegetable plants and your flowers. So we're going to let that sit now and then we'll move on to this other bargain that I spotted. Last year, if I needed a quick fix to fill up a planter or a basket with flowers, I'd just go down to the local shop, have a look, see what they've got and pick something. So I didn't have to wait because so I'd want to get something maybe out on front as soon as possible and give it time to start growing and filling out more while the seedlings were still growing. So I would go out and I'd buy something like this. Uh, they're violas. So you get about six plants in here for about average about two pound. But today I spotted a better deal. How about 20 for three pound fifty? Really good looking plants as you can see. And that's for three pound fifty. And last year it was £2 for six. No competition really. So if you want to get hold of some of these bargain 20 plant violas, they're from B&M and they've got loads on them in. And they're only £3.50 for 20 plants. So obviously I got a couple of packs. Anyway, as I said, if you're looking for a quick fix, an instant basket, you can go and get these, get them all set up, and then you've already got all your colour set up for spring while your seedlings are growing to be used later on. The only other thing that I will say, as soon as you get these plants home, put them in a tray and bottom water them. Do not spray them on the top because these little flowers are so delicate, just like pansies, and you will damage all the flowers on the top. So always bottom water in a tree. And if I do spot any more bargains over the next few weeks, I will put a video on to let people know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care.